the questionable actions of the Trump administration seem to have absolutely no end. It has now been revealed that Trump's daughter Ivanka will now be a White House employee. She will be an advisor to him in her own father's administration, according to a statement that was put out by the White House itself. This is an unofficial role that has grown in recent weeks. Like, she's already been doing this, but now it's something official. However, she does say that she will not be taking a salary from the U.S. taxpayer. Now, here's exactly what the White House said. Ivanka's service as an unpaid employee furthers our commitment to ethics, transparency, and compliance and affords her increased opportunities to lead initiatives, driving real policy benefits for the American public that would not have been available to her previously. So essentially, she's going to have a good job that provides her with opportunities that she wouldn't have had had her father not been the president of the United States which is how she got the job, which of course is raising a great deal of ethics concerns. Now, she did also release a statement of her own regarding her new appointment. I have heard the concerns some have with my advising the president in my personal capacity while voluntarily complying with all ethics rules, and I will instead serve as an unpaid employee in the White House office, subject to all the same rules as other federal employees. Now, she's already served in this role in an unofficial capacity. We all remember the, the, the uh, images of her looking at, you know, Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, and then she was also there with uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel. But now it's going to be something official, and she's going to be held accountable to the Ethics Committee and the whole ethics system that goes with that. Although some people claim that she actually won't be because she's not technically an employee because she's not actually paid. But as an advisor to the president, she, she will have to file her own form 278, which means she will be legally bound by ethics rules. So whether or not she's going to be really bound by these ethic rules, you know, who knows? But it seems like at this time that she will be, which would be a great problem considering that she'll be serving as possibly the most corrupt president of all time. Now, there's something very odd about filling your whole cabinet with people from your own family. Like all the, all your advisors, they're all people that are in your own family, including her, her husband, Jared Kushner, who's also a senior advisor to the president. I mean, this really kind of reeks like putting together a yes man squad People in your own family, aside from blatantly being nepotism, which is already unethical in and of itself, it seems like he's just creating this whole place of people who will just agree with him. Or people that he thinks will think along the same lines of him. People that I'm sure in the past have been just yes men themselves. I mean, is Trump really going to go after his own son-in-law? kind of thing. I think it's all very strange. This is all very symptomatic of kind of like a dictatorial government. I'm not necessarily saying that Donald Trump is a dictator. I'm saying that there are aspects of his personality and his leadership style that are very much like that of a dictator, like filling his, you know, most close associates with family members. I mean, that's really, uh, that's really, aside from unethical, is also very questionable. But then again, this just goes along with a lot of what we have seen from the Trump presidency, and I don't really see any reason why that would change anytime soon. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.